Hello, welcome to Steve McDonald's Crafting. Today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be making some geodes inside of walnut shells. Geodes inside of walnut shells, I hear you cry. Well, yeah, I think it is possible. If you've not already seen how I make the Druzy crystal mould, then check out the video that I'll link at the end. But I'm going to be using a very similar technique to that. So what I've got here is I've got some water that I've put quite a lot of Epsom salt into until it's a quite a saturated mixture. And you'll see how I do that in the Druzy mould video. So like I said, check that one out. But I made clear crystals with that one. And what with this one, I actually want to make red crystals. So what I've got is I've got some red food colouring that I'm just going to pop into this salty water and give it a stir. Now I want them to be quite a dark red. So I'm probably going to put a bit more in than that. And then what I'll do is let this water cool down before I put the walnut shells into it. Now, I've already filled these walnut shells, as you can see, with salt because I want the crystals to have something to form on. And how I did this was I painted in some PVA glue, school glue, white wood glue, filled it up with the Epsom salts, just pushed it down, tipped it out, and then it left it in there. So I've got quite a few like this. So... I'm going to let this water cool down so that it doesn't dissolve the salt that's inside of the walnut shells. And then I'm going to pop it in here and I'll show you how I do that. And then we'll let the crystals form. Here's the actual shape of how the crystals do form on the outside of something and on the inside. And these are the bits I made to cast the Druzy moulds with. And they're very sparkly and lovely. So once these walnuts are formed up and all the crystals are formed up, then we can pour in a nice clear resin and have a really good geode inside a walnut shell. Great jewellery. I will link everything that I use in the description below, including the food colouring, the Epsom salts and everything else. So it's easy for you to find. Don't forget, if you're not already a subscriber, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos. This has cooled down enough for me to be able to put the shells in with the stuck in crystals. And all I have to do is I literally just fill them with the colour and the salt. So there's no air bubbles. Flip them upside down. The reason I flip them upside down is as it settles and as it makes the crystals, then I find that in things like this, it just makes the crystals really, really nice. And any of the flaky bits just flake down to the bottom. And what I'll do is I'll leave this in here probably for about 24 hours. Check it. If in 24 hours time I think it's made the crystals as much as I want them, then I'll show you. If not, I'll leave it, but I'll let you know how long I've left it for. <gasps> oh, I'm really excited about these ones. These have been sitting in here now for about two and a half days. And you can tell that there's crystals going to have formed in there because there's crystals sitting on the top. I haven't looked at them and I can't see them, obviously, because the food colouring has made it really dark in there. So I can't see what they've done. So it'll be interesting to see how they come out. So there's one. And that's really, really quite pretty. You can see the crystals all growing in there. Now, I don't want any crystals on the back of this one. So while it's still wet, I'm going to take those off because I actually want to expose the shell of the walnut. And I'm also going to take the ones off the edge. Give it a quick rinse because I'm going to want to put some edging around that as well. well. That's come out not too bad. There's not that many on the inside of that one. That one's quite nice. That looks like a geode. And I'm just going to take that off there. Oh yeah, that one's really... Oh dear. There's a Goliath one here. Now that has really come out well. I'm not going to take the crystals off the back of that one. Or maybe a little bit off just that bit there. And then I'm going to keep them everywhere else if I don't break them off. They're easier to come off when they're still quite wet. So you can see, actually see that that's a walnut, I think. I will do. Oh yeah, that's really nice that one's come out really good as well you can see all the crystals glistening in that one but it's off the shell because i want to expose the shell as part of the final piece so they've come out really well and it's actually it's so easy to do it's it's not difficult to grow them you just follow the steps that i did two more left oh that one's really pretty and that one filled up ever so well and i won't throw this out because i will use this water again all i'll do is i'll put a lid on it and then use that water again. What I've got to do now is I need them to completely dry. They will lighten up as they dry. And then I'm going to turn them into something using resin. 
these have all come out really well i'm really pleased with them now they're dry and i'm going to be using them in other projects don't forget hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my future videos enjoy your crafting bye